Well, it's 2024 and Happy New Year. I'm going to share with you something I come across this morning that was probably on point when it comes to resolutions and such. And all credit goes to the guys at Changemaker. Let's just read. In the new year, with resolutions so bright, we vow to run, lift, and eat just right. But on January 1st, oh, what a sight. Our sneakers are lost and our gym clothes is way too tight. We buy kale and quinoa with the health thing in mind, and but that leftover Christmas cake, well, it's too sweet to decline. We plan to wake up early, the whole morning routine, and hit the gym at dawn. But that's when the bed... That bed is so warm, our willpower is gone. We download another app to track every bite, but the weekend all bets are off. It's a goddamn plight. A party, a feast, too many toasts and good cheer. But who knew that these health resolutions were bloody hard to adhere. But friends, fear not, it's never too late to start your goals. No need to have to wait. For the calendar is just another page you see and the journey you can start whenever you decree. It's not about New Year or some specific date, it's the small steps, the daily work that truly narrates. A walk in the park, take the dogs, or even dance in the rain. Choosing the stairs, not the elevator, again and again. The all or nothing approach, well, let's just refrain because that barely brings any results joy, but just a shitload of pain. But always something, now there's an idea, there's a plan, a bite of health, a step or ten, or even get outside and have a tan. It's the sipping of water, it's the workout high, it's a deep breath under the brightest of skies. It's choosing meat and veggies and sometimes it's even cake. Balancing life, it's the choices we make. So let's not fret about starting so right. Make mistakes because those resolutions are going to take flight. Each day, each day is anew. Full of promises, little moments, baby steps, and your health will accrue. It's laughter, love, and the sun's warm kiss. It's all of these things. There's health, fitness, and even bliss. So here's to the days, the fast ones, and slow to the health of yourself and all the highs and the lows in each step, each workout or bite, just try. Just try to put in some might. Find your path, your journey and your pump up song because it's always in daily, in routine, that we grow strong. It's not about the past, the present or the future. It's how you decide to plan your own nurture. Get strong, eat well and stop eating like a glutton. Only then you'll begin to stop pushing unnecessary buttons. And finally, from me to you. Lift heavy, walk, get sun and prioritise your protein. Maybe then these simple things, you will finally see they'll fix the trouble that's kept you feeling like Frankenstein. That's it. It ain't rocket science, people. It's simple. You don't need another damn app. You don't need to follow an influencer who hasn't realised that they haven't even got out of puberty yet and can't boil anything than a kettle of water. It's simple. Whether it's fitness for the looks, the aesthetics, whether it's fitness for performance, or for those of you that think that your career has got nothing to do with being fit and healthy, I'm sadly here to say your eyes are full of shit. Because without good health, without good fitness... None of that career, none of that performance is possible. Look ahead. You are bound to know someone who said, fuck that, burnt the candle at both ends, gave up, and then they copped a stroke, a heart attack, something hypertensive. They're on pills, potions, and magic lotions in order to just survive. Some people might say to me, Dom, just chill. Live like the little. Fuck that. I'm here to life life a hell of a lot more than you.